Hello, my name's Colin. I'm a consulting engineer with Juniper Networks. And today we're gonna to talk about the wildcard command. Recently, a customer came to me after having applied a template for an EX4300 switch to an EX4300 multi-gig switch. The multi-gig switch has multi-gig interfaces. And these multi-gig interfaces have a slightly different interface name than the non-multi-gig versions. Essentially, the difference between GE and MGE. When the template was applied, it blew out the MGE interfaces, replaced them with GE interfaces, and that won't work. And I know this personally because I have a multi-gig switch here at my house. The question then becomes, how do we replace that? How do we fix the problem? And there's a couple different ways, and one of them is to use the wildcard range command. I'm going to do that today. So I've logged into my EX2300 multi-gig switch here. You can run a show chassis hardware to look at that. Oh, I haven't. Wrong tab. Show chassis hardware. There we go. We know this is a multi-gig switch because the part number here has an MP in it. Now the first step is we're just going to look at the configuration that I currently have under interfaces, and we just use a show command. I use interface ranges to group together like parts of my interface configuration. Uh, down here with the multi-gig ports, I actually have them typed out. So what we're going to do is actually delete these. Now on this switch, the multi-gig ports are, was it 16 through 24, I want to say? Oh, up to 30. So that means probably 31. Let's just go ahead and delete them all. Now, how do I do that? Wildcard, range, delete. And you can see that we have a couple different options when we use the range command. So we're going to use delete here. I can say MGE-0016 through 31. Let's do that. Now, I'm getting a return here that says warning statement not found because it has attempted to delete interfaces that I don't have defined. So any of the interfaces that are here, you can see that it's non-contiguous, 16, 18, there's no 17. I'll get one of these error messages for. But if I use the show command now, you'll see that those multi-gig interfaces are in fact gone. In fact, I can grep for MGE and you'll see it's not there. So now my multi-gig interfaces are gone. Now I can use the wildcard set command, wildcard range set, and I can say GE-0016, use my brackets, 16 through 31, enter. Oh, it's a set command, of course, so I need to do something like unit zero. There needs to be a variable after that. And now if I do a show, we'll see that they've been added there's just nothing else here. I could have done family ethernet, but I'm just using this to show you how this works. So let's put ourselves in the position that that customer was in. So I've got these GE interfaces and I need to modify them. Now, you actually don't have to delete the GE interfaces if you don't want to. The configuration overlays the hardware. So if it's a multi-gig port, and you have both a GE and an MGE configuration, it'll just use the MGE configuration. So I can do a set, let's see, wildcard range set GMGE-00 bracket 16 through 31, close bracket unit zero family ethernet switching. It'll take that just fine. And you'll just see that now I have MGE for both, but this is, it's not clean. It's not tidy. You might want to do this in a template, but if you do, I'd probably do it as an apply group just so that you only see the interfaces that you want to see. For my part, I'm just going to delete them. And again, I'll use the wildcard range delete GE-00 slash bracket 16 through 31 close bracket. And then I should just be left with my multi-gig interfaces. Now, of course, I had configuration there before, so I'm going to roll this back so that I know that my home switch will continue to work, and there they are. Uh, you can also use the interface range command to apply light configuration. This is really handy if you know those interfaces are going to have the same type of configuration. Uh, and you can see that here, I've got two ranges defined. I don't have a defined range for my M gig interfaces, but again, that still applies. I have a separate video on using interface range commands, so if you're interested in that, I would go check out that other video. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.